What it do, ski guys, it's Phil34 back here with another episode of Super Science. What do famous characters like Static Shock, Black Lightning, Storm, Cole McGareth, and Electro have in common? Well, they have a liking for some very shocking powers. On this episode of Super Science, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at electrokinesis. Before we get deep into the actual way how to control electricity, we must know what electricity is. Alright, let's get into some of the super science. Electricity is the presence and flow of electrical charge and most well known as electrons flowing through a conductor of some sort. In this case, the conductor would be our hero's bodies. Electrokinesis is generally psychic based, including a wide range of abilities like being able to manipulate, generate, and conduct various forms of electrical energy. This could give the user control of things like electric fields, charges, currents, and electromagnetism, and even in some cases, natural electricity, aka lightning. Now how would our heroes be able to do this seeing as the human body is nothing like a copper wire? As you may already know, humans can create a low level amount of static electricity to shock people around them. It's kind of like when you're rubbing your feet together on a carpet and then you touch your buddy and then they get shocked. It's nothing but a very minor static shock. But if you'd want to shoot it like, I don't know, a human Pikachu from your fingertips? There actually may be a way to do this. Static electricity is the result of electrons jumping between objects with different electrical charges. The human body is actually a micro generator because everything we do is controlled by small electrical signals going through our body. This electricity is produced when atoms switch across membranes. This switch allows the flow of electrons which generates electricity. So when we go and look at these powered individuals, of course their DNA is not exactly that of a normal person. So they can actually mentally control the flow of electrons. Yeah! It's by manipulating this flow and generating more electricity, they can actually channel and direct where it goes and generally comes out of their hands. Now to lightning, which is the electrostatic discharge produced during electrical storms. They form from the electrically charged regions of the cloud and can strike other clouds or even the ground. So now taking the information about being able to control and raise the regions of the body with electrical charges, it's these electrically powered individuals that act as a conductor between the negative and the positive charges between their target and their body. By focusing where the leader of the discharge goes, we see how they generate and arc lightning bolts at their targets. And that is the super science behind electrokinesis. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the Hyper Network if you have not already. Also guys, if you enjoyed these videos, you can also check out my channel in the description down below. What did you guys think about this episode of Super Science? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas for another episode, let us know. We'll try to get to it. As always guys, I'm your host, Fanwell34. This is Super Science, and you just got educated. I'll see you guys next week.